beautiful Turians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for mid-March right through to mid-April 2022. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pertaining to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Taurians, I'm doing this reading on the 18th of March, 2022, and the full moon is in Virgo. So that is about using your willpower to uh, succeed, uh, but also about strategizing the next move in terms of your career, okay? Also be mindful that this moon can make us feel a little bit critical of our current positions. Uh, so sometimes we feel a little bit down on ourselves during this time, um, a little bit of low confidence. Uh, so Spirit wants you to have compassion during this full moon for yourself, okay? So just be mindful of that energy. Uh, thanks so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? Uh, first card we got is the Chariot card. Now, I'm scrying in the water at the same time as doing your reading, and right now they're showing me a uh, cactus. Okay, cactus. So either you are currently watering your cactus, or uh, you are um, you just bought a cactus, or perhaps it means that um, if you're not doing that in the physical sense, I mean, maybe you're looking at a cactus right now and that's what I'm seeing, so please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, that's for sure, uh, but it can mean, if it doesn't connect to you in the physical sense, it can mean that you've been very resourceful um, with uh, your career right now um, and with your finances. Uh, perhaps you are someone who's, um, you're enduring difficult circumstances and you're still managing to thrive and um find a way. Um, I mean, if you think about it, especially look at this first card, Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a guarded energy, okay? It can be but like trying to hold true to the vision and not allow anyone to um, dissuade you from your path. And if you think about uh, cactuses or cacti, uh, you know, they've got all those prickly kind of um, sort of pins that stick out there. So that is kind of like a defensive kind of energy. Um, so perhaps you're feeling like you have to either defend your position or perhaps you're defending a goal on something that you thought about giving up uh, on for a while. But cactus, um, you know, is about so it's like being resourceful, you know, using your energy for the right things, the right place. Um, you know, cactus sort of retains water um, and sort of uses it when necessary. So it's it's like being um, very clever about the way you use uh, your resources in order to endure harsh circumstances because they tend to be in the desert when there's no opportunity um, or for water and things like that. So it's almost like even in uh, difficult circumstances, you're managing to thrive and stay uh, afloat. Or if you've been going through a difficult period, I feel like you've got the defenses you need in order to find a way to thrive and find a solution to your circumstances. Uh, we got the Eight of Cups here and we got the Temperance card. Uh, there's more to come, so I'm just gonna get all your cards first, uh, but I just wanted to share uh, the image that I'm seeing in the water, okay? We got the Five of Wands again here, so there's a lot of wands. Uh, interesting, we got a six, an Eight of Cups here and a Six of Cups. So this is like walking away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling and thinking back to the past when things were better or when you thought things were, were better, okay? Uh, thank you so much for it, guys. 
We've got the Two of Cups here. Uh, they want me to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guide, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Tureans? Um, now, you know, the card probably isn't going to come out, but they keep showing me a King of Pentacles. Uh, we got a Wheel of Fortune and a Four of Cups. Bizarrely, they want me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Now, the King of Pentacles is your card, so perhaps they're identifying you, making really good decisions financially. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Okay, we've got a Page of Wands that flipped out there, too. Okay, so... Um, now, someone, uh, they keep showing me the King of Pentacles, so that's like someone who's got really good business skills, someone who is um, using their ideas to uh, make wealth or uh, is making really shrewd moves in business. Uh, so perhaps that's how you're feeling right now. You're having to strategize a way to uh, be an entrepreneur, for example, or um, I feel like you're bossing up in some way. But let, anyway, let's get to the cards that's popped out for you. We got the Chariot card. So there's definitely movement forward in your career and you've got your eye on the prize. Uh, this card indicates that you are looking at success in a way where you control um, how you get there. Um, and I feel like this is victory for you. This card is basically about your dedication, your progress. I feel like you're mapping your progress, but there's something here where we've got the Five of Wands and the Seven of Wands and basically, either you feel like you've had some real obstacles in your path recently, and with the Seven of Wands, you may be wondering, should you give up on something, or whether you're, you're trying to hold true to a vision, stay strong to something, um, and persevere at it. And I feel like the Chariot card tells me overall that if you've encountered some sort of obstacle or some sort of delay or challenge in your career, that um, your willpower and determination will see you through. You will ensure victory over this obstacle and you will uh, you will be successful. This is also, uh, you know, motivation, drive. So if you felt defeated or a little bit of self-doubt or you felt a little bit angry that um, about your progress or you feel a little bit like low motivation or uh, energy. I feel like you're overcoming, they're giving me the word fatigue, fatigue. So perhaps you've been feeling a little bit like exhausted. I mean, be easy on yourself, my beautiful Taurians. We're all trying to do jobs, pay the bills, uh, look after families, uh, you know, be on the right career path, uh, navigate a major, a major pandemic, uh, you know, try to uh, you know, help in any way that we can in some small way, uh, what's going on in the world at the moment with the, the people, um, uh, you know, with the, uh, in the Ukraine and Russia and all of those things that are occurring around the world. It has an impact, okay? Even if it's not impacting you sort of in a real-time sense for you, uh, I feel like those external circumstances are impacting energy, and you may feel completely like exhausted with bombardment. Uh, they just gave a little knock on the camera. I wonder if you caught that on there, but uh, uh, I'll check it out afterwards. But I feel like they're just indicating that there's been a real sort of sense of you absorbing a lot of energy around you and it's making you feel exhausted or it's draining your energy in some way, okay? So just be mindful of that. If you've got Scorpio placements somewhere, my beautiful Taurians, I just did a Scorpio reading and something similar came up there. So I still feel that energetic exchange here, um, even though I've closed down the Scorpio reading. The chariot card indicates movement forward. Some of you may be thinking about relocating or may, some of you may be thinking about an alternative route to get to where you want to go. I feel like you're looking for the best option for you. You're at a choice. Uh, you, I feel like there's a choice or a decision. Uh, the chariot card indicates you are the master or the mistress of your own destiny. And whilst you do believe in fate, I feel like you may be being a little bit philosophical about your journey, um, your pathway, because we've got the full card here, which is some sort of, you know, leap of faith or taking a chance, but you may have felt a little bit lost hope or cynicism recently. Maybe you felt like your energy was scattered and you felt um, it was difficult to take the next step on something. So you may be sort of weighing up your life's uh, decisions or your life's choices, um, but I feel like you overcome the obstacle and you move forward. Um, the chariot card basically means success, uh, victory, okay, and being a champion, um, you know, sort of setting yourself a target and achieving it. So I feel like you're bang on target. You're right on target with this. Uh, now the Seven of Wands is crossing it, which indicates, you know, sometimes you may feel that you have to fight uh, to get what you need, or you always have to go that extra mile to achieve what you set out to do. The Seven of uh, Wands is here to remind you 
that you're capable of victory. You're capable of going the distance. You're capable of, you know, not conforming and sort of living life on your own terms, being confident that you will achieve whatever it is you set out to do. Okay. I also feel like expressing your opinions is very important at this time because expressing yourself, you will get your needs met. Even if it's you manifesting with the universe, I feel like you need to be very clear about the direction that you're going in and you may be weighing that up over the next couple of weeks. So I feel like you may be in this sort of like analysis mode a little bit. Uh, I feel like they really want you to be aware that your passion um, will get you to where you want to go and your sustained effort uh, will see that you don't compromise what's important to you and that you will achieve what you set out to do, okay? Um, I feel with this card, I feel sometimes um, you need to trust that you can make things happen um, and trust that inspired solutions will present themselves to you. Um, don't give up on the vision. Don't give up on the dream. Hold true to your vision because you're actually at your personal best. No matter how much you feel that uh, you have low energy or that you've lo lost motivation or drive, you're still at your personal best and you can only live in the now. We can have visions of the future and we certainly should let go of the past. Only take the lessons that we've learned from the past because if we live in the past, we're actually doing ourselves a disservice and wasting time. But the Seven of Wands, um, basically, I, I feel like you need to record well they're indicating be happy with the course that you're on okay uh, because I feel like you're actually in line to achieve something that you set out to do um, but sometimes with the five of wands you can feel a little bit of conflict or I feel um, sometimes you can feel like there's been a lot of challenges now what's really wonderful about the five of wands the actual history of this card is um, that you're in training Okay, in training for success, because the next card is the Six of Wands, which is success and news of that success uh, coming full circle and you being recognized for uh, your work or your passion, your drive, your talent. Um, so I feel like the, you know, the card that's in between here, I mean, the chariot card represents success, but the card that's uh, sort of missing in between here is the Six of Wands. So I feel like, you know, hold true to, to your vision. Don't give up on something. You're still moving forward, even if you felt like you're on pause for a while. And the Five of Wands says, you're in training. You're, you're about to achieve success. Do not give up. All of this has been leading you to this point, okay? Now we're in the resistance position. We've got the full card. So it's like I got it in the reverse. So they're just indicating here that you may have felt a little bit of lost hope here, or you may have felt like a loss of faith or some sort of um, a test of faith where you felt you could not take a leap or you couldn't move forward on something. Maybe also you felt like you lost that playfulness or that um, it feels like there's a lot of responsibility here and you may have felt immobile in um, some part of your journey. Now, this card indicates this is a challenge to get over for the next couple of weeks, so I feel like you have a lot of potential. Uh, some of you may be actually beginning something new because the full card is about to begin, but you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from experience, okay? Even though the full card is a card of inexperience, your first your protagonist energy tells me you've got a lot of experience, okay? Because you've come to this world with a lot of passion, a lot of talent that is natural. Um, but sometimes you may doubt your wonderful self, my beautiful Torians. Don't, 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 oh my gosh, I can't get this out. I'm stuttering. Uh, don't doubt yourself, okay? They really want you to have confidence because you're on track to win, okay? The full card indicates that there will be a leap of faith. There will be a moment where you have to uh, sort of free yourself up from um, this energy. So I feel you will sort of take a next step. You will find that faith that you need. And when you've got this card, it, it, sort of indicates that you are embarking on something new that will lead to a bigger picture and an adventure of some sort, okay? So I feel it's actually you climbing like a ladder um, in your career. Now it's crossed here by the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups indicates a search, a search for something greater, a journey of discovery. You're letting go of things that just bog you down. Whether you're in routine and it's a bit of a groundhog day or you feel like you've been in a repetitive habit, I feel like this isn't this just isn't serving you. It's making you feel low vibe or it's making you feel like 
it doesn't sit right with you okay it doesn't vibe with you so i feel like you're walking away from something in order to achieve something new so either you're walking away from something that you've always done like you've been in a bit of a pattern and you want to shake up the energy so you're injecting a little bit more sort of like um a little bit more of your own self-expression and you're not putting too much pressure on yourself i feel like you um are opening yourself up to a creative freedom or uh, you're you're allowing yourself to be your wonderful self being original in your ideas um, so the eight of cups often indicates that you're seeking you do not know what you're seeking you're seeking something other so if you felt a little bit of like you felt recently that perhaps something just how can I put that I feel like something is changing within you um, I feel like you're rejecting things in your world that so for example if people are giving you like extra work and they're not paying you for it or you, if you feel like um unmotivated where you're at I feel like you're making radical changes in your world and thinking about either opening yourself up to looking for a new job um or you're interested in a new sector going into a, something different I feel like you're exploring that what's wonderful about the eight of cups is that you're triggered to sort of uh, recognize that uh, you're seeking, seeking deeper meaning. You're re-examining where you've been, where you're at, and where you want to go, okay? So I feel um, the, the person who's seeking with that Eight of Cups, they just walk away from everything that they have they can see in front of them because they're like, nah, it's not it, it's not it. I'm seeking something other. And then they stumble upon the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfilled, which is everything they ever dreamed of. So I feel like you're telling the universe that, you know, you're ready for change. And the Six of Cups also indicates that, you know, I feel like you're leaving something behind. You know, the, the Six of Cups is about nostalgia. It's about, you know, the good old days. So you may have felt like you've been holding on to something because that's just always the way it's been done. But now I feel like you're ready to release that. Uh, the Six of Cups also indicates like um, an offer that is coming on in, which will require you to have a new start. And I feel you will be, it just feels like you're leaving something behind. Now this could be the return of a person in your life, someone that you knew from a long time ago. It could be an old friend, could be uh, you know a family member that you haven't heard from in a while, or it could be an ex-colleague. I feel like they're, I feel like they're offering something uh, it could be like a new venture. They may say, hey, do you want to partner up in business? Or they may tell you about a, a job that's going where they're at. I feel like this triggers some sort of um, response in you to open yourself up to something new. Now, you may not necessarily take that. I'm going to pull a quick card on it. Um, but I feel it sort of makes you start thinking about changing something about your career okay I mean you may stay in the same sector but each card keeps telling me that there's some sort of movement forward that you are implementing that leads to a lot of success and we got the two of cups it's in the reverse so they're indicating you're separating from something or you you have become disinterested in something and you're thinking about leaving it um now this could be that you're just thinking about it because you feel a little bit unmotivated or you feel like you've lost a little bit of um oh gosh they're giving me that song um You've lost that loving feeling. Uh, normally that's a, like a love song, but I mean, you can, I guess, apply it to the career. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's something, it's almost like you've lost your sparkle for your career in some moments. I mean, there's the King of Pentacles. It's in the reverse. So I feel like uh, there's not enough money in whatever it is and you're hoping to achieve more, which I feel like you will achieve. But I feel like, I mean, you may not follow through on an offer that comes on in towards you because there's something greater down the line. The Wheel of Fortune is showing up, which means there is a new path. Spirit intervenes. The law of um, the law of prosperity and attraction brings you a lucky break or something better. But I do feel like there's an offer here that perhaps um, you think is financially not viable or you're walking away because you want to earn more money, okay? Um, so... And I feel like that will show up for you, okay? Um, now, the judgment card is the big question, the philosophical question of, uh, it's almost like you're awakening. Um, you may be getting like an extra boost of energy if you've been feeling unmotivated or if you felt really stagnant in your career. Um, I feel like you're getting that renewal of energy. But 
the two cards here that remind me that you're actually in a big decision period in your career we've got the chariot and the judgment card which means you're weighing up your options in order to find your luck or find more reward find more money okay um but I feel it's not just about the money for you, Taurus. Um, I feel like it's about the love for what you do. And when you get the, the judgment card, this means that you're at a fork in the road where you want to reach for a new life. I feel like you're thinking about your wake up call, your life's purpose, and you're trying to find your true prosperity. And I feel like you're actually aligning yourself with a calling that is deeper than anything that you've known before. Um, so, for example, if you've always been an accountant, but your secret desire has been to be a nurse or something like that, I feel like you are taking a step in a direction where you've had a calling. There is a calling here, uh, is what they're showing me. You're being guided to step up and step forward in something. Uh, expressing yourself is so important, okay? When you get this card, this is like you're adhering to a divine blueprint. So if you've had an idea, for example, that keeps whispering at you, whether it's to set up your own business, be your own boss, be an entrepreneur, or get something like a parallel job on the sideline, I feel like this is something you're going to be focusing on that brings a lot of prosperity, a lot of financial reward. Also, the judgment card is about examination, okay? You sort of working out where you've been, where you are right now, and reevaluating um, the energy uh, in order to get you to where you want to go, okay? This is almost like a second chance at something. So some of you may be actually revisiting uh, like a, a childhood dream, something that you always wanted to do, or a, a hobby that you had that everyone used to sort of call it a hobby, but you're actually really good at it, and you decide, actually, it's not a hobby. It's something I want to do as a career. So I really feel like this is going to be something that you launch yourself into, and you thrive at it, and it's very, very successful, okay? Um, also, we've got the temperance card. So this is something that you've patiently been working out. Um, the temperance card is always about turning one thing into something else. So it could be you turning your hobby into a viable business or, uh, you know, and, and you're finding a balance between enjoying what you do and making money at it as well. The temperance card is also about moderation. So I feel like it's almost like you're plotting your next move. Okay. Is what they're showing me. Um, now, they're just playing a song, another song, wow. Um, okay, and now this is a very famous song, I know this one. Uh, finally, a song, I really know all of it. Um, so the lyrics that they're playing me right now is don't stop believing, hold on to that feeling. And it just says don't stop. Okay, uh, so obviously that's a really famous song uh, by Journey, I mean, well, actually, when you think about it, those two cards literally mean journey. And so does the Eight of Cups means journey. So um, this is like, this is your journey. This is something that's really important and monumental, monumental on your career journey. Um, and I feel like they don't want you to give up on something because you are actually going to be very successful at it. We've got the Two of Cups here. Now, the Two of Cups at grassroots means, you know, balance, of course, harmony, um, heart connection. So it's about what you love loves you, what you want wants you. So I feel like you're actually aligning yourself with your heart's desire and are capable of achieving it, okay? When you get this card as well, it is to remind you of all the possibilities available to you to bring you and your dreams together, okay? Because it's like two hearts beating as one. You, you and your dreams match in frequency and you come together when you apply that to a career, okay? Um, two of Cups can also be about um, your dreams, your um, sort of it can be a card of duality, you doing something that you love doing and, you know, making money at it and being flexible whilst also doing another job on the side that's like a nine to five that pays the bills. So I feel like um, this is you attracting the opportunities that sort of couple with what you're trying to achieve. I mean, the Two of Cups uh, literally is a toast. It's like a celebration. Uh, there could be like an agreement coming on in here, but at grassroots, it really is about, you know, um, the love for what you do. Uh, it could also be about partnerships. So a friend um, could come towards you and offer a partnership or to set up a business or something with them. Um, and I feel, um, I mean, don't go too quickly into it. I feel they're trying to indicate mull it over. Really think about uh, the stipulations of it, put contracts in place and all like that, of course. Um, and I feel... It's something that you would consider, but because we got the four cups here, I feel like there's something that's just not rewarding. And 
another opportunity comes along, okay? Or it's that where you're at right now is just not feeling like it's rewarding and then there is another offer that comes on in, okay? We've got the Wheel of Fortune, which means your luck changes and that there is a lot of prosperity attached to, uh, attached to this. This is a very abundant opportunity that comes on in. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a, you know, a cycle. Basically, it means sometimes we're, we're in a life cycle. So sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. And I feel that this is a lucky break that is popping out of nowhere for you to bring you uh, some sort of um, exciting new start. We've got a page of wands there, which gives you a little bit more freedom uh, for yourself, uh, something that you're really passionate about. And I feel like you're stretching your boundaries. You're looking further afield for inspiration and you know maybe even a new project comes in or you hear news about a new job that's a little bit more creative or gives you scope to really make it your own. The Wheel of Fortune indicates that there is um, good karma coming your way. This is your destiny. You are always meant to change um, in this particular uh, four to five weeks and transform uh, in terms of your career. Um, this is like you're opening yourself up to possibilities. Uh, there's good fortune with this card. And I feel like there's like a random opportunity that comes your way. Either it is a person who just reaches out from nowhere uh, that you haven't heard from in, age, in ages and like Taurus, you know, you're awesome. We get on really well. And I always thought knew that you had that skill, that talent. And I was thinking about setting up this business. How about it? Do you want to go into business with each other? So I feel like there's a potential here. Um, but I feel like there's something here that you do alone. Okay, something that you're really awesome at, you're so talented at, and um, I feel like there's something here that you're eager to explore, um, and you take the initiative to try something new, and I feel your commitment, your drive, your passion, and your talent brings you the success that you truly deserve and desire. I mean, we've got the Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups is basically feeling a little bit unfulfilled or apathy. I feel when you get this, it's like you're going to see some sort of omen. Um, where you feel either disenchanted with what you're what's going on right now or you feel a little bit like something that you expected hasn't shown up and then all of a sudden it does because the wheel of fortune is a surprise so all of a sudden there is good fortune all of a sudden there is success you may have felt like nothing is happening then all of a sudden it arrives so I feel like there is a bigger opportunity that aligns with your heart. So, I mean, I'm picking up two opportunities right now. Um, and there's one that you will consider, but I feel like you leave it behind because you, I feel like it doesn't really spark your passion in the way that you're hoping for. And then there's the other one, <clears throat> excuse me. And this page of wands energy, I feel like this is the one, this is the jackpot opportunity in terms of your career, okay? And because it's a page, it can be that you're curious about a new, sector or you're curious about a new project or doing something where you're pushing boundaries um, you're enthusiastically beginning something whether it's a new idea I feel like you're venturing forward and um, you're aligning yourself with your heart and your desire the page of wands pages bring news so I feel like there is some really uh, exciting news coming on in here um, where I feel like you take the initiative and it sort of gives you a spring in your step um, I feel I mean this card the judgment card literally means searching for purpose or aligning yourself with your purpose. Am I on the right track? And this page of wands is literally, it means you find your purpose and then you take the initiative to just run with it and be very successful at it. This card reminds you that your ideas have value and that you can achieve whatever you set out to do. So dream boldly. You know, uh, opportunities, once we start to manifest and see the vision, which the Seven of Wands says, hold true to the vision. Do not give up on what you believe should be for your life because you're capable of achieving it. And the universe will intervene to make sure you are meeting the right people or the right being in the right place at the right time to get this opportunity, okay? The Page of Wands gives you freedom. The page of wands makes you active. So if you've been actively seeking for a, looking for a job or maybe you are seeking for a new job or if you haven't got a job right now, you're seeking for one, there is one coming on in here and it just pops out of nowhere. You may have been searching for months. You may have been searching for a year, maybe since the beginning of the pandemic, whatever. But it just, the minute I feel like the minute you sort of t take a step back and go, you know what, this is just not for me. I'm just then all of a sudden it appears. It may come in an email. It may come in like, you know, sometimes those adverts like pop up. Something's like just pops out of nowhere when you're not, I feel like you're seeking it, but when it pops up, you're not actively seeking it. It sort of comes to you because you've already done the manifestation by seeking it. 
if that makes sense, okay? I'm gonna pull a quick card just to clarify anything further, but I see you being um, really in control of your destiny. I see you moving forward, moving through obstacles, believing and achieving. And I see you aligning yourself with a goal, a dream, and it's going to be very financially rewarding, okay? Thank you so much. Yeah, um, yeah. See, we've got a two of swords here, which means there will be indecision. There will be a moment where what, okay, that was quite a powerful boost. Um, so let's see what is going on there for you. Okay, so we have um, yeah, they're kind of indicating here that with the two of swords, there is an indecision. So I feel like there is a path that needs to be navigated. A uh, page of Pentacles indicates that there is an offer coming on in, whether that's a new job raise promotion there's something here offered to you in the next four to five weeks um and i feel like it is like a small offer i mean even though we've got an ace of pentacles coming on in here for you this is the jackpot okay for you uh this one i feel like you're undecided about it whether it's to maybe there's a, a new opening at your workspace or um there's a job that you're kind of like oh yeah that'll bring in a bit of money but i feel like you're waiting for something bigger something better as you can see this is a small offering but it's I feel like this card really indicates your sense of uh, being practical, but also your effort, um, you you know, your application to achieve whatever it is you set out to do. Now, some of you also will put yourself on a course of learning, some sort of study to earn more money. And I feel like it'll, I just they just said to me, they're going to be raking it in, raking it in. They're going to be raking it in. So that's what they just, uh, which is incredible. So, I mean... Uh, that's a uh, very interesting terminology. I would never say raking it in. So perhaps maybe you're going to be w working with a rake. Maybe you're someone who's a landscape gardener or someone who is going to be working on the land in some way using a rake because it's bizarre that they would say you're going to be raking it in. So please, I mean, maybe it's reiki. Maybe you're actually going to be uh, someone who's a spiritual, um, doing a spiritual practice. Raking it in could be like Reiki. So uh, please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure how it does. Okay. We've got the four of swords. It's in the reverse. So if you've been feeling like you, you know, you've been operating off grid or under the radar, um, when it's in this position, it indicates get ready because there's going to be action. You will not be in a waiting energy for much longer. You will not be within a withdrawal energy much longer, but they are indicating make sure you get enough sleep because things are about to get really interesting. Okay. Now we've also got these three cards, which are in the reverse. The Ace of Wands indicates rejecting something that is not meant for you. The Hanged Man in the reverse indicates that there is um, something which you may consider, um, well, you may be feeling a little indecisive about it, um, but you will let it go. It's like, a, to some, it may be a, an, a lot, you know, like a missed opportunity, but you don't see it that way. And we got the Queen of Pentacles because I feel like it wouldn't meet the requirements that you're hoping for. I feel like some of you may be wanting to buy your own home uh, because the Queen of Pentacles can be someone who wants to build a home. Um, but when it's in the reverse, it can mean that, you know, you will be financially dependent because the first opportunity may not bring you in the money that you were hoping for, okay? So I feel, um, you know, you're someone who's very resourceful with your money and I feel like there's an opportunity that comes on in. I mean, all of these cards pretty much say that you're going to let the first opportunity go and the jackpot one comes on in. If you look at the pentacles, look at the sizes of the pentacles. So they're indicating that there is something better. Even though this is an ace, which is the beginning, it's like you're starting something new or you're starting, maybe not from scratch, maybe you're starting from experience, but there is something from the universe that is being offered here that is bigger and better than ever before and brings in loads more finances, okay? This is material gain. This is like acquisition. This is success. This is about you um, aligning yourself with success and seeing prosperity in its purest form, okay? Um, you know, if you see the cloud, it's like there's like difficulty. The cloud is like, uh, tumultuous there and then a hand from the universe comes on in that's your will of fortune the universe comes in and offers you this other thing that is like really fortunate and you start it it's like a gift from the universe an opportunity to earn more money so I feel like it comes out of the blue but 
all cards in two different decks are indicating that there is something that's offered to you before. So whether that is a friend who's offering you something or whether it is your workspace that's current or maybe a job opportunity that comes along and you're like, yeah, you think about it, you mull it up for a little bit, but deep down you know there's something better and all of a sudden this comes on in. I feel like while you're weighing up this smaller opportunity, the other one comes in and then it's a bit of a no-brainer. So I feel like you actually grab the new opportunity with both hands. It gives you a lot more freedom, a lot more creative expression, um, a lot more excitement. Your passion um, is ignited and I feel like you'll be pushing boundaries. Um, so either you're acting on a new idea or you're venturing forward and starting a new project or something, it brings a lot of finances, okay? So very exciting there for you. I'm just gonna pull a quick card to see what's going on there. Thank you so much for it, guys, going angels. Um, I am wild and free. See, I told you, it gives you a lot more freedom. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Grand Angels. Um, I trust my intuition and they want one more. I am beautiful, okay? I mean, some of you may be actually working within the beauty industry or I feel like this is about you sort of looking in the mirror and being comfortable and saying, I can do this. Um, so that first card is I am Sorry, I am wild and free. So some of you may be actually deciding to do freelance work or uh, work for yourself in some way. Um, and you, you become your own boss so that you don't sort of like have to answer to anybody. It's number 43. When you reduce it, four plus three is seven, the chariot card number. So you are in a seven, you're, you're in a seven number, basically. When uh, sevens show up, that means, um, you know, with your hard work, determination, you will succeed at whatever it is you set out to do. And, you know, you have seven for the chariot card, seven of wands. This is number seven when you reduce it as well. Also, we've got, I trust my intuition. So, I feel like you know that things have to change and I feel like you've got a hunch that something better is coming on in here for you. Also, with number 15, which is the devil card energy, I feel like you're releasing some sort of blockage or some sort of attachment to something that is just no longer serving you. So some of you may be working at like a toxic environment or something that's been draining your energy and you're looking further afield for inspiration. Um, so I feel... Um, also reminding yourself that you are worth a lot. You bring so much to the table, okay? It says, I am beautiful, but it's very important because it's number 29. And when you reduce it, two plus nine is 11, which is a soul path number. So I feel like you're on the right path. Having the confidence to sort of look in the mirror and know that you can achieve whatever it is you set out to do. Um, and I feel like this is you aligning yourself with your true prosperity and your true calling, okay? Uh, number 11 is the justice card, which means you could be signing contracts because right now they're showing me a contract being signed. So either that's some of you are buying a house or a car, uh, making a large purchase and there's some sort of contract involved or you're saving for your house and the job that comes on in would allow you to do that, okay? So um, pay close attention to any contracts. Always look at the small print, okay? Now, right now they're showing me someone uh, having a glass of water so if that's you there's something in this message for you as well okay if you're not drinking a glass of water as you're listening to this reading doesn't mean it's not your reading it just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered i'm just going to get a trinket before we close thank you so much for guys for able to please guys okay so we've got a butterfly so butterfly is about being ready you know, now you're ready to stretch your wings, you know, and fly. So I feel like this is a really monumental moment in terms of your career. If you felt it was stagnant, I feel like you were in a learning uh, process, but now you're ready to stretch your, ring, your wings and fly. They want that on the judgment card for you. Um, and also we've got the fish. So I love this because the fish basically connects to the Page of Cups energy, which is like a surprise, you know, and it's like a pr surprise offer comes on in and it's a real gem of an offer. As you can see with that fish, I hope you can see it's like a little gem in its mouth. So it's almost like something pops up. I mean, we just, we've just we been going through a cycle, the Pisces cycle. Uh, so I feel like a, an opportunity pops out of nowhere and it is like a jackpot opportunity for you, okay? And I feel like you're, they're almost indicating that you're going to be going in another direction or you're, because they're showing me you swimming against the tide in some way. And whilst that does mean that 
it may be challenging to either change direction or to um, be different from everybody else it is actually what sets you apart that is your superpower okay um, you're original you're unique don't you don't need to follow what everybody else does. And I feel like your creative expression is something that helps you through. Now, they're also showing me, um, hmm, they're showing me a pen, but it's got a feather on it, so a quill. Now, either someone's just bought a quill to write with and is doing things like um, calligraphy, if that's you, there's something that's message for you. But I feel like some of you are writers and you're old souls and you have stories that are very important to be told. So I feel like some of you could be writing a book or writing something about your life or some sort of experience that actually um, is your calling. And I feel like this creative project will be very successful and bring a lot of financial reward, okay? But I feel like you're not doing it per se for the finances. The finances are a bonus. I feel like you're doing something that you love. They want me to put it on the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, some of you may be actually working with fish, for example. Um, you know, fish may be important. There may be something about, you know, maybe you're a marine biologist. Wow, where did that come from? A marine biologist or something like that. So um, maybe you're setting up your own thing or you're exploring that as a viable option. Maybe some of you are going back to university or college to try and um, learn about that or something like that. Or maybe, because they were literally showing me like blue aquatic... Um, I'm just seeing a shoal of fish all together in a, like a wall and as if I go to it it kind of just drifts a little bit further afield but it's just there it's just sort of shimmering and it just looks really beautiful and peaceful so perhaps you've just bought a fish tank or something or or you've just watched a documentary on um, marine life or something like that that's really calmed your soul um, but I do feel like there's an opportunity that pops out uh, for you that is surprising and rewarding okay so i will leave it there i hope something resonates in this reading for you my beautiful taurians if it does please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when i update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me okay thank you so much my beautiful taurians okay just before i go they've given me some sort of um it's like a little pillow um, that's got either rosemary or uh, lavender or something inside it. I feel like you put it either in the oven or the microwave to warm it up and it has scent. Whether that is a calming thing or something that helps you sleep or something like that, they're just showing me someone heating that up. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. That is not going to resonate for everyone, but I feel if it does not connect to you, perhaps it's about getting enough sleep. Maybe you haven't been sleeping so well recently. Now that could be because of the planetary alignment and the moon is in Virgo, full moon. Uh, so uh, this time period is difficult, uh, sleeping patterns. Um, but they're indicating um, if you're having trouble sleeping, perhaps getting one of those things would help you. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurians. Love and light.